Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of SE interview series here at Cato Networks and today we have with us Mark Bain, our Senior Director of Worldwide Sales Engineering. Hi Mark. Hi, thank you for uh, inviting me along. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Um, so let's start with a few introduction questions. Uh, beginning with what was your career path uh, before coming to Cato? How did you get to, K to work for Cato? Sure. So um, I guess my career in relation to um, security and networking really started in earnest when I first joined Nokia. Um, so this was also the first time I was really in pre-sales and also um, had my first type of link to an Israeli company um, and uh, the startup. So I was uh, involved in selling the Nokia checkpoint appliances at that time. Um, and Whilst I was there, I also had um, a great opportunity to work in China for a period of time. So that was uh, great to get a little bit of kind of diversity in my experience there. Um, but, but at that point, it was really then that I started my, my real kind of first startup organization um, or joined one, which was with Imperva. So this is again where uh, Shlomo was heading the company. Um, and it was really then that I realized how much I loved that startup environment. It was uh, gave that opportunity for um, really making a difference and just having that dynamic type of environment. Um, so I was there for around 10 years and uh, um, worked up to being a, a director of the, the sales engineering team. Um, so during those 10 years, I went from the pre-IPO to the post-IPO phase of the company, which was really nice to see what the differences are and also where I enjoy being most of the time and uh, and really at that point I was ready for the next challenge and it was at that point that I heard about Cato, um, heard a lot of rumors about this really great new disruptive approach um, and uh, naturally also having had some experience working with, with Shlomo and the Israeli team, I was very keen to, to get involved. So the timing was right for myself and also for Cato and uh, a pre-sales director role came up and uh, I was very fortunate to be able to uh, move into that role and uh, and now being with Cato for almost four years. That's great. And your um, role at Cato is? So my role now at Cato is that I'm the director of worldwide, worldwide sales engineering. Um, so essentially what that means is that I'm there to ensure that kind of support and structure in place for, for my team of sales engineers that are in each of the, our key territories. And uh, what I'm looking to do is always make sure that they are um, perfectly aligned technically to be able to position Cato to the customer's business objectives. So um, there's a lot behind that, which is you know requiring the enablement, being able to assist with uh, product development requirements that are coming from the field. And essentially, I'm there to put all of that together and make sure that the, the team has all the support. Um, and the other aspect really is, as Cato is tracing this incredible growth trajectory that we have at the moment, is that I'm there to help scale the team out and also help with the adapting of our service to kind of meet the needs of the customers and also scale the team and adapt the team processes to also help uh, kind of track the, the really rapid evolution of the product. Cool. So th there are many great things about Cato, I know, uh, personally, but what is your yeah. favorite? What is the thing that you like about Cato the most? So there are a few items, but I guess the, the one that I would have to really pinpoint would be the culture. I think that um, the combination of Cato being a startup, um, having the, the individuals that I've worked with before and in new individuals that I've been introduced to at Cato and that everybody has that same drive and dynamic approach um, and enjoys this excitement as Cato's growing. That, that's really what I enjoy most. But I think that there are three elements that all have come together to, to make this kind of this, this perfect situation for me. What, one is the people, the other is the product, which is, as I mentioned, I think everyone knows, it's incredibly disruptive and great new approach. Um, and the product is is market leading. It really is defining that uh, that sassy category. Um, so having the product, having the people, and then the timing. So 
the timing in terms of the challenges that organizations are seeing, the, the frustrations they have, um, and how we actually meet to solve those, those issues, that really kind of puts all three items together to, to give us that, that amazing opportunity that we've got. So cool. that's really what I love about work. Awesome. So um, without further ado, let's, uh, let's see your um, all-time favorite demo. Okay, so um, in the short time that, uh, that we'll run through this demo, what I like to, to focus on and in front of prospects and customers as well is to, to really just highlight the, the key elements of the simplicity that, that Cato brings to the solution um, and also the, the ease of control and, uh, um, and the ability to be able to get visibility that is a real challenge for customers to be able to get with other solutions. Um, so what we can see at the moment is the landing page of CC2, which is our management console from which we're able to manage all aspects of Cato, both from the configuration aspects as well as being able to monitor and to review and to analyze the um, activity on the network. So what we can see at the moment is that we've got a number of locations here on this landing page being represented, um, each of them connecting into the Cato Cloud, and even a number of users here connected in at the moment into the Cato Cloud. And, and, and you can see that it's irrespective of the type of site or the location we're looking at, whether it's physical or whether it is a virtual environment, these all connect into the Cato Cloud. And from there, with our cloud native approach, we're able to apply the necessary security for the organization and also optimize the path and uh, the acceleration of traffic from one location to another. So this landing page is always a really good location to be able to show really what is the overall status currently of the environment. Now, focusing more on the kind of traffic flow and how we control that in this particular demo, what I like to do is then go across to our analytics screen to give an idea of how we're able to, at a very quick glance, look at each of the locations and be able to see what is the kind of traffic that's flowing and are there some challenges that we need to be dealing with or how are we optimizing the traffic. So if I take one of these locations here, the Israel office in this particular case, and go into the analytics page, I'm looking at the last seven days in terms of a time scope. And this first view is a very effective view of looking at from the connectivity perspective. I'm not looking at this point at what are the applications that are passing over the Cato Cloud from one location to another? But what I'm looking at is how effective is the traffic passing into Cato and what kind of throughput am I looking at? And it gives me a good idea right away what kind of utilization do we have from that location, both upstream and downstream. I can see if we have any problem spots from maybe a last mile provider that we need to overcome, such as here for upstream and downstream, and other metrics which are all relating to that connectivity aspect. Now, what I also like about this is if we see a trouble spot, I can very easily drag over a section of a graph, zoom into it, and look at it in detail. What I'm going to do first of all is have a look now at the next level of detail that you get from the analytics from within Cato when sites are onboarded and that is that we're able to in that same time frame of seven days we can have a look at what are the applications that are contributing to the traffic over that period of time so we can see very clearly a number of uh, spikes which are representing the various days that we're looking at and i can i can have a look down here at the top contributing applications domains and even users and hosts that are contributing to the traffic that we see on the graph so nice ability is to be able to click on a particular application and see within that graph then how much that application is contributing. And, and the great thing about this is that, again, it gives visibility, which allows you to make decisions that you wouldn't have been able to make otherwise. Um, and we can, as I say, look at it from different angles. We can essentially pivot around that data. So what would you actually do with this information? Well, if there's something that doesn't align with your business objectives, then you can go across to networking and networking rules to be able to control this traffic flow. Now, naturally, there are a lot of rules here already defined, 
So I'm just going to give a very simple example here. If I go down and look at Rule 10, which is representing Office 365 traffic. Now, we have within Cato, as you'd expect, deep packet inspections and application awareness to be able to make decisions on what is the traffic that is matching our criteria. And in this case, we're matching Office 365. Okay. Now, once we've matched that, we can decide some real key decisions in terms of how we want to handle that traffic, including how we want to prioritize that traffic. So if you do have a situation where your internet circuits are congested, what is it you want to prioritize and what do you want to deprioritize? So we can control that very easily here. And we can even control how this traffic is going to be routed across the Cato network and even which point of presence we want to be exiting to give a most optimal and optimized path to the destination. So without going into too much details here, we've got all of the control we need to be able to give the best end user experience. Now, having created those network rules, if we jump back quickly to the analytics, we can see a little more detail about how that is then reflected in the analytics that we would be looking at. So a moment ago, we were looking at usage. If I now jump to Priority Analyzer, we now get a view of that same activity we were looking at earlier, but now from the perspective of how that is aligned to the different traffic priorities that we had configured. Now, this is great. This is all from a very historic view. We can see exactly how the traffic has been matched and whether we've got the right kind of distribution of traffic. But what I really like, and this is something which is quite unique really to Cato, is that if you need to be looking into some real-time activity, maybe there's a challenge or a new request you have from the business and you need to be dealing with it in real time, you can go into the real-time view and we can have a look at each of the internet circuits we have and in real time we can see the throughput that is passing over that internet connection. And then expanding that out, we can even then see in real time what are the applications that are contributing to that current throughput on that internet circuit. So this is great, but what I think is that next step further that really does make this a unique visibility is that we can look at it from that prioritization perspective. So those priority traffic priority options we had in the network rules, we can see in real time how the traffic is then mapping into those different priorities, the throughput, whether we're getting any discarding of packets because it's been deprioritized over something more important. We get visibility of all of that in this screen, and we can even expand out any one of those priorities and see down to the application level and even the user and host level who is contributing to that traffic. So in this short session, what I wanted to show you really was the simplicity of Cato, how everything is configured and visible within a single management console. And I wanted to show you the visibility you get in real time as well as historic, and also how you have the ability to control where the traffic is flowing. So this is something that you would normally in the past have had to have multiple point products trying to integrate together to deliver this kind of capability, whereas of course Cato being cloud native and having everything fully converged into a single solution, you have all of this within a single Awesome. And I think it's very cool to see that we are now recording this interview over Zoom. And I can even see my laptop here as the third contributing uh, host on the left side, a LWZ laptop, um, which is actually recording this exact <laughs> session that we are having right now. Uh, could be better. Could be yes. Better. Excellent. Good. And, and I think everyone can see the quality of the video. <laughs> yes, definitely. All right. Mark, thank you very, very much for spending time with us today. And thank you for this demo. It's really appreciated. It's a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Thanks, Aya. All right. Thanks, man.